one of the most common complaint which patients come to our OPD and tell us is that doc, I am having a lot of hair fall. Well, you need to understand hair loss has two aspects, excessive hair fall and hair thinning. Excessive hair fall, when it is called excessive, is when you are having more than usual hair fall. So, the hair cycle is divided into three phases. Almost 70% of our hair are in the growing phase, 20% are in the resting phase and 10% are in the shedding phase. Now, human scalp is supposed to have around 1 lakh hair follicles, out of which almost, you can say, 10,000 hair follicles are in the shedding phase, out of which around 1% follicles, that means 100 follicles you can shed off daily. But the good news is, as you are shedding, you are gaining hair as well. Sometimes this cycle is disrupted, so you need to find the particular reason. So these reasons can be divided into three categories. One is uh, your nutrition levels, your vitamin D, your thyroid, your vitamin B12, your serum ferritin. If these things are deranged, yes, you can have more hair fall. Second is beauty parlor procedures nowadays, rebonding, straightening, pressing, all, all those chemicals. So they take a lot of, uh, you can say, chemical and physical toll on your hair health and you lose more than normal hair. Third is stress, could be mental, physical or biological. By biological stress, I mean if there is some, you know, you got sick or there is some surgery which you had in a recent past or it could be pregnancy or other hormonal issues. So these things can lead to hair fall. Second important aspect, as I said, is hair thinning. Now, hair thinning is usually genetic in nature. And what we see in males and females, there are two different set of patterns. So male go bald uh, firstly from the frontal area and then the temporal and slowly, slowly it recedes and they get a, a center patch and then it, it goes on. In female, the pattern baldness is a little different where you usually get bald from the crown area and the central parting, it sort of widens. So it's very important to differentiate between hair thinning and hair fall and sometimes both the things coexist as well. And that can be done when you visit a good dermatologist. So we do a trichoscopic examination to see how, what degree of hair thinning and hair fall you're having. And then the treatment is planned accordingly. Now treatment can be in form of certain medicines like shampoos, lotions, serums, etc., multivitamins. Second, uh, nowadays we have some regenerative methods like PRP, growth factor concentrate and so on. And third is we try to put new hair from the back of your scalp, which is called as hair transplant, if you have frank baldness. So depending on your condition, your doctor plans your treatment and you should definitely take a proper dermatologist advice for this. Thank you so much. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and press the bell icon to get the latest healthcare updates.